She was six years old when she was forced to marry the 29-year-old King of England. So on October 31st, 1396, Richard II, King of France, goes to meet his new bride, the daughter of the erratic King of France, Charles IV, who had up until then been at war with England. Basically, Charles was serving up his daughter to his enemy. Richard II had been on the throne of England since he was 10 years old, and by 29, he had been married and widowed and never had children. Of the marriage, he said, well, she will get older. And nothing happened at the wedding. He basically took her enormous dowry, plus she had a trousseau of clothing and a box full of dolls, and took her back to England and treated her like the daughter he never had. He spent a lot of his time on the road, like putting down rebellions in Ireland. But they had a very fond relationship until Richard's cousin decides, you know, I'd like to be the king of England. Richard mysteriously dies and he becomes Henry IV of England. He is the first English king in centuries who actually spoke English as a native language. And he tells the nine-year-old now imprisoned Queen of England, Isabel, that she must marry his son, who would eventually become Henry V. She refuses and goes into full mourning, is eventually shipped back to France, though England keeps her dowry, um, and she then has to marry her first cousin. Her little sister Catherine, however, does marry the future Henry V of England, and she becomes the ancestor of the Tudor line.